the birthday roses. Their fine green feet are pointed, hovering in the vase, close together as if in love but slanting outward. Their petal perfection, their fine grain velvet red, is wonderfully marred as if by scraffito. Is there an inner layer of rot or ebony? Dragon-toothed and tongued, the sepals of the calyx make up a star tightly cupping the corolla. In time, the sepals arch and thrust the widening whorls of petals upward, loosened wombs of fragrance. Glasshouse dryads, the roses hold out helpless arms that black room floor is filled with stems of baby's breath. The fool drinks in the red that tends toward black, the sage of paddle leaves and cranes his head to see the stars half hidden underneath. I see that you are twelve, he says aloud, as if they might be listening. Perhaps you are the twelve months of the zodiac, virgins, water bearers, archers with sheath of thorns. Perhaps you are the twelve apostles of good news. Perhaps you are a twelve-string lute of silences. Or else you are the twelve days of Christmas that in the cold and blackness rise to flowering. No, I know what you are, the fool tells the flowers, for days or months are one, and so are blooming you, the one who stumbled from his bed of rotten leaves. You are my rose-red heart, my rose-red birthday hat, the blossom in my mind. You are the Red King's fool.